Hey, what's up everybody? Today's Monday, so you know what that means. It's Resource Monday, and you're watching Strategic Resources, and I'm your host, Ken Dow, your strategic tip dropper. And today, we're gonna do a top 10 list on why most people fail at getting their business started or getting started with life. So, check it out. Hey, and welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to our program. You know, when I'm not shooting this podcast, I am the owner of Strategic Resources Consultants, where we specialize in political campaigns, government, and public relations work. I've been doing it all over Ohio for the last 20 years, and I have met some really amazing people along the way and had an opportunity to work on some really interesting projects. And I want to share firsthand with you some of my experiences that helped me to grow as a businessman, as well as to help me grow as an individual. So what I would like for you to do is leave us a comment so we can know how well we're doing. And if there's something or some content that you think you would like for us to talk about or questions that you have, just leave us a comment. Also, I would like for you to subscribe. When you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell as well, you will know when our next episode is coming out. So today we're doing a top 10 list on why most people fail at getting their business started or getting started with their life. Let's get to it. Number 10, it's easy for you to say. You know that person who always like to say, oh, it's easy for you to say that because you can't never convince them as if the hard work that it takes to get something done is there and they too can do it if they try. They just never want to try and they think everything that happened just happened your way. And sometimes you just really have to put in the work. It's easy to say, but it's also hard to do. Number nine, I'm so tired. You know those people. All I can say is lazy. Number eight, you got lucky. Yeah, sometimes it takes a little luck. You got to play in order to win. You have to also be ready when opportunity knocks. So yes, it takes a little luck, but it takes a whole lot of faith. Number seven, I suck. You have to be your biggest cheerleader. And you have, if you don't believe in yourself, it's going to be hard for anybody else to believe in you. That really means that sometimes you're going to have to get up really when you don't want to. Number six, I'm offended. In business and in life, you're going to have to have some thick skin, especially with the way the internet is, social media, and the way we communicate. It's really easy to get a lot of misinformation out there about a person or a business. So you're going to have to have a little thick skin in order to get through it. I don't have the time. Well, this one is a tricky one for me because we always make the time for the things that's important for us. And if you're really true to your business, you're going to spend a lot of time really investing your time in building your business and trying to get it to grow. But it's very important that we take the time to spend time with our family, we take the time to spend with ourselves and do the things that's important for us to keep ourselves mentally strong. So take the time, even though when we say we don't have the time, take the time to make the time for the things that are important. Number four, it's not fair. No, in life and in business, it's not fair. That's why it's more important that you make sure that when the opportunity comes for us, that we're ready. That opportunity can be on the job, that opportunity can be in our business, and that opportunity can be in relationship. Let's just make sure that when the time comes that we're ready because it's not fair. And so therefore we need to make sure that when it comes that we're prepared for it. Number three, I can't. The word I can't, most people use that word and they use it before they even try. We want to take that word out of our vocabulary. Let's change the word I can't to I try. At least let's make an attempt to do it. We're going to change the word I can't to I try. Number two, it's not my fault. Sometimes life just really deal us a bad set of cards and sometimes things happen that's totally out of our control and there's nothing we can do. All we can do is continue to move forward and we just can't get stuck. But then there's those others who just won't get up off the couch. Number one, the number one reason that most people do not start their business or getting their life started is procrastination. Just start doing the things that we say we're going to do. Maybe put a list together, maybe not a big list. Instead of making a big list of saying, I'm going to do all of these things, maybe let's do some small things so that we start making some little small victories that maybe lead to bigger victories. You know, just those small things alone can really help you deal with that procrastination. If you haven't had an opportunity, please check out Strategic Moves with Ken Dow. That's a place where I bring in guests and we talk about art, culture, politics, and business. And we do it every Sunday right here on the same channel. That's my strategic tip, and I'll talk to you soon.